Hi friends, this video will show you how to fix 403 forbidden error on Google Chrome. 1. Check URL at Chrome address bar. Most of the users facing 403 forbidden error often have entered wrong or incorrect URL, so check if the URL you have entered is correct. An incorrect URL can also lead to 403 forbidden error. Also if the URL you are attempting to access is inside the login page then make sure you are logged into the account first. Even if you still getting forbidden error then do log out and log in again and check the link. Check the guide to fix. 2. Clear cookies and cache file in Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome on your computer and click on the three dot menu button present in the upper right corner of your screen. After that go to the settings in Google Chrome and scroll to the bottom in the settings. In here, under the privacy and security area, click on the clear browsing dot. Once you click on it, a new pop-up window will open up on your screen. After that select the cookies and other site data and cache image and files options and click on the clear data doing so will successfully delete all of the temporary files stored in Google Chrome. Fixing the 403 forbidden error. 3. Refresh the page or try again later. Refreshing a page often fixes these errors. Although it's more of coincident than a fix. When you first attempted to open a web page or URL which lead to 403 forbidden error, could be possibly due to server related maintenance work. So refreshing or trying again later works out most of the time. 4. Disable extensions and add-ons in Google Chrome. Chrome and open the options menu by clicking on the three dot menu in the upper right corner of your screen. In here, go to more tools greater than extensions which will open a new extensions manager tab inside Google Chrome. After that, disable all of the extensions installed in Google Chrome using the toggle switch. Finally, restart Google Chrome which will fix the 403 forbidden error on your computer. 5. Fix date and time in your Windows 10 PC. Right click on the time in Windows 10 task or select adjust date time. After that, a new window will open where you have to make sure that the set time automatically and set time zone automatically options are enabled. Doing so will make Windows 10 to automatically change the date and time of your computer using Microsoft servers. 7. Blacklisted app. Every time you go online your ISP will assign you a static or dynamic app address which acts like your home address. If that app has been used to send spam or perform DOS-DOS distributed denial of service, webmasters would have blacklisted all such IPS abusing their services. In these cases, you could either see a blank page or error 403. The dynamic app users can simply turn off and on their internet service and renew their app address, however static app user will need to contact their ISP and request them to look at this problem.